we're going to investigate infrared further and we're going to make some infrared day vision goggles so we can actually see what it looks like in infrared rather than what when we're looking out at anything what it looks like in visible light uh, but what we have to do is we have to be very careful um, and eliminate all daylight from reaching your eyes uh, so you can't have any light that gets in around the edge of the goggles and when you're wearing them outside and it has to be done on a sunny day don't look directly at the sun they aren't solar eclipse goggles and also have a buddy walk with you uh, to guide you uh, if you uh, can't really see too well Um, welders goggles again online and that has a cost um, and to the side the scissors a small jar uh, dark colored modeling clay and a black permanent marker um, you've you've got those perhaps already and you're going to measure the diameter of the lens in your goggle because you're going to cut the third theater gel uh, into discs to fit in there um, and find a circular object the same diameter as the lens and suggest uh, uh, lids on uh, spice jars etc. Et you're going to draw around those um, with your permanent marker then you will cut out the discs um, and uh, I suggest that you have uh, eight of each. You might want to cut out fewer at a time um, uh, as you're doing the trials. You can start off with either colour. Uh, here I've put a, a, a red uh, Congo red gel disc in and I've put some tape to secure the disc in there. But if you're going to put three in, you can wait till you've put the, the last one in. And if they're tight fitting, you might not need that tape. So uh, here showing putting one disc in one of the lenses and then following it with uh, the same colour disc in the other lens. You want to have identical order and identical number of lenses uh, filter uh, in each of the lenses. Now, experiment, look through the goggles. How does the red filter affect what you see? So place a second red disc in each of the goggles uh, eyepieces and, and then you can follow with a disc of the primary blue theatre gel in each eyepiece. So we've got three pieces of gel uh, that I've described here, two red, one blue, and add a small strip of dark coloured modelling clay around the edge so you're going to prevent any light seepage from the outside in. You want all of the infrared rays to go through uh, the gel filters. You don't want any sunlight uh, impinging around the edges. And so next instruction, go outside on a sunny day. Um, have your buddy with you 
once you've got your goggles on, well fitted, uh, because your pupils will expand because the gel actually darkens it, so it's a bit like uh, looking at night. And uh, don't, even with the goggles on, don't look at the sun. So you can experiment with a diff different number of blue and red discs. You can uh, experiment with different orders, color combinations, but please have the same number in each eyepiece in the same order. And don't forget the strip of modeling clay to make sure no light gets in through the edges. And then how to analyze what you're seeing. What color do the different objects appear? You can talk to your buddy who's there and say what object you're looking at, the tree and what color it looks, or a car or whatever. Um, and here it says grass, different building materials. Um, what difference does the, do the combinations of different colored gels make? And the theatre gels are filtering out the colors of visible light. So you don't get any visible light uh, going through the, the gel now with the red and the blue, uh, but you do get infrared. You're picking up the infrared rays from infrared radiation, which is heat radiation. And as an extra, we've got night vision goggles. Ours on, you need bright sunshine to be able to see through your layers of the gel that you put in the filter. Um, the night vision goggles, um, uh, some of them allow you to see a heat signature of the infrared rays. These ones here that are green, uh, they just enhance the available light. Uh, so there has to be some residual light and you can pick up even more. Uh, and you produce a, a greenish image as you're looking at it. And then there are thermal images. Uh, and these look at uh, the different amounts of heat that you are seeing, picking up the infrared radiation signature from different parts of what you're looking at. And here's a deer. Uh, the bluer parts are colder, the red going up to the yellow and white are warmer. And those are false colours that represent the temperature uh, uh, of the infrared rays that are, that are coming in. And you want to find out more. So you've got the URLs or you can scan the QR codes uh, to investigate more and enjoy your research into infrared.